Animals blown from their nests during Hurricane Dorian. Now wildlife rehabilitators are taking in several of the injured and orphaned animals. Mm -hmm. Tune in your side, Stana Benton, as she spoke with a rehabilitator today who says that she has more than 25 animals just from Dorian. She yeah. does. She says she's received mm -hmm. rabbits, squirrels, and possums, mm -hmm. and some of them are so tiny that she has to feed them every few hours. I love them. I love every one of them. Wildlife rehabilitator Lina Bateman says helping animals is her calling. I recently got my rehabilitation license through the state of North Carolina three years ago. She's used to taking in animals that need her help, but after Hurricane Dorian swept through, the calls kept coming in. I finally got out Friday afternoon, started getting calls. Um, by Saturday morning, I had already 25 squirrels and I had a few rabbits. Um, and of course we have possums. While she says some didn't make it. Unfortunately, you know, some of these nests are in pretty tall trees and we had some bad winds here Friday. So uh, there's no telling how far they were blown out, you know, or how many branches they hit coming down, you know, but you know, their little bodies are fragile. Others are getting the treatment they need. Some are already on some medications because they've got some little nicks or they got some internal injuries. Caring for these animals is a big job. The little ones have to be fed every four hours. And it can also get pretty expensive. State, unfortunately, does not pay for anything. Um, everything that we do come out of our pockets. So all of our vet costs, uh, medications from the vet. Bateman tells me a donation page has been set up to help offset the cost of the increasing bills. She says once the animals are nursed back to health, she'll release them back into the wild. And she says before the storm, she put out a message on Facebook asking people to find nests in their yard and then go back to them and check them after the storm. She says she's grateful so many people listened so more animals could be saved. If you would like to donate, you can find a link to the story over on wavy.com. Deanna Betaneshi, 10 on your side.